If you ever want to just bet the Chiefs will win or that Paul Goldschmidt will hit a home run, well, you might be able to do that soon. State lawmakers are stepping up to the plate to try to legalize sports betting in the state. KOMU 8's Daniel Perot joins us now in the studio. And Daniel, even though sports gambling is illegal, Missourians still place those bets. Yeah, about a million Missourians illegally gamble each year, and the state wants to get some of that revenue. Sports betting is already legal in 14 states, including our neighbors in Iowa and Arkansas. Those states are in red. Now, in six other states, it's legal, but you can't place a bet yet, so that's in orange. And then the blue, the 14 other states, including Missouri, that are looking at legalizing sports gambling, a move that would bring millions of dollars in revenue to the state. The Express Mart in Fulton sells cigarettes and alcohol. Like free lighter and a lot of lottery tickets. Thank you. I sold like 800 to 900 every day. Like 80, 90 on drawing drays. Yeah, lottery is a huge story. But soon there could be a new game moving to Missouri. The bills would legalize sports betting on the internet and at Missouri's 13 riverboat casinos like Isle Capri here in Boonville. We weren't able to go inside this casino, but our NBC affiliate up in Iowa was able to go inside the Isle of Capri Casino in Waterloo just after that state legalized sports betting last year. They began readying their sports books for the first day of betting. Since Iowa legalized sports gambling in August, the state has raised more than $1.5 million in revenue. If Missouri lawmakers give it the green light, Missouri will also make millions. That revenue is required to go to education. As other states are doing this, if we want to remain competitive as a state, uh, there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't take the time now to implement it. This week, state lawmakers heard testimony on two bills that would legalize sports gambling. Still, there is some concern from the leagues. It establishes a framework of haves and have-nots, with the leagues squarely falling within the have-nots. Bizu Athletics says they're worried that college athletes are vulnerable. We're going to have to spend more time educating coaches, student athletes, staff, boosters, supporters um, about these, these changes um, and, and healthy ha habits. And state lawmakers are concerned about unintended consequences. Sports betting was more restricted than other forms of gambling would now actually be less restricted. If we could have preventive care measures that deal with those who treat gambling as if it was a drug, which it is for so many. Like the Powerball, legalizing sports betting is not a lock. Card and it's Thank, you. Thank you. You have a good one. But it's not as much of a long shot. Both bills would require Missouri's 13 casinos to figure out a way to identify and stop compulsive gambling. With so many similar bills on sports gambling in the legislature, state lawmakers could combine parts of different bills to form the one that they do eventually pass. In the studio, Daniel Perot, KOMU 8 News.